Yes, Mr. Bazer. Well, I think the only issue with that is, uh, is the fact that, is the fact that, you know what, Mr. Bazer? I, I apologize, but I, I'm gonna have to call you back. Mr. Draper, I know. This is completely unprofessional. I'll find a babysitter as soon as I find one I can afford. So this must be the new addition to the office I've been hearing about. Oh, hi, Ken. Yes, this is Matthew. Not exactly his finest hour. Oh, he probably just hates Mondays as much as the rest of us. May I? By all means. Hello, Matthew. Hello. You are a miracle worker. Oh, I love babies. Everything is so new and exciting to them. Any plans for you and your fiancé to start a family? We, well, we decided to go separate ways. I'm so sorry. I must have been so caught up in my own life that I didn't realize. Actually, I haven't really told much of anyone around here. I wasn't prepared for getting pitying looks for the next couple of months. I've become well acquainted with those looks. I suppose you have. I just want to say that you should be very proud of your husband. I know it's pretty heated around the country right now with all the protests and everything, but we can't get down on the soldiers just because we don't believe in our government, you know? Thank you, Ken. Pete, how many cocktails did you have before you crunched these numbers? This doesn't add up. Really? I'm sorry, Roger. It's been really hard for me to focus around here lately. I know that as a new father, I should be far more sympathetic about this, but it seems like every time I'm trying to get work done, that baby starts screaming because he's hungry, or screaming because he's tired, or screaming because he just wants to hear himself scream. Well, Pete, you know Joan's situation. What do you suggest we do? Find some baby sedatives to knock the kid out for eight hours? I just wish we could find the kid a father so Joan could go home and be a mother like she's supposed to be. It's not fair to her either. Redo these numbers and we'll meet again in the afternoon. You must be Joan. And this handsome fellow must be Matthew. It is. Have we met before? Only on the telephone. My name is Carla. I used to work for Mrs. Draper, taking care of the children. And now that Mr. Draper has partial custody of Jean, he has hired me to come in and look after him during office hours. And while I'm here, I've been asked to see if you might need some help as well. That's the best offer I've heard in weeks. Thank you, Carla. Hey, Joan. I just wanted to drop off a gift for the little guy. Hope that's okay. That's very sweet of you, Ken. Look what Uncle Ken brought you. What's that? Is that a teddy bear? Uncle Ken must think you're a pretty special boy. 